I had ups and downs. The biggest amount of money you may well spend. They did do their checks. I am recording today in beautiful, beautiful Barbados at sunset time. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a shot of my view. In today's video, I am going to be sharing some tips, things that I've learned, lessons that I've learned in this whole process of buying my dream house in Barbados. We are going to talk all things attorneys or lawyers, but attorneys as they say here. I can't tell you how important it is to have, to have the best attorney that you can get. So today's video is going to be giving you tips on the things that you need to be looking for to ensure that you get the best attorney. Real estate, buying and selling property is such a complex process. It's not something that can be just done by anybody. Throughout this whole process, one of the things that I can safely say is that from my experience, I can't speak highly enough about the attorney that I used. And I know that this whole process, although I had ups and downs and though there were challenges, never for a moment did I ever doubt the professionalism and the efficiency and the knowledge of my attorneys. And when you are dealing with something as important, the biggest amount of money you may well spend, you cannot afford to get it wrong. Hello and welcome to my channel, Expat Barbados. My name is Jay and I help you make the move to Barbados in a way that suits you, your needs and your interests. If it's your first time here, welcome. First thing I did was talk to family and friends to find out had they used an attorney, could they recommend somebody? Now, be very, very careful here because often family and friends may just recommend somebody that they've heard that somebody else has used. No, you need to know that they are recommending somebody that they have actually used and they can actually vouch for. This is really, really important. It can't be a friend of a friend or you heard that this person was good. It has to be somebody who's actually used them and can talk from experience. And I say that because there are times when well-meaning family or friends may recommend somebody and it could be just because they've heard that they're good but they aren't necessarily. Make sure they give you clear examples of why they are recommending these people, why they're recommending this particular attorney. A, as I've said to you before, is it somebody they've actually used before so they have they can talk from their own personal experiences and that is really really important or is it somebody who has used them before maybe a family friend but they respect that person's opinion they know that person is very straightforward open and honest because that's what you need you need people who are very transparent you need to find a person who has expertise in real estate it's very easy these days go on to Google and Google the names of attorneys in Barbados. You can get a lot of information about different attorneys just from looking at their websites. So don't be afraid to go online, check out what people are saying about them. Don't be afraid to actually call them up. Yes, call them up and ask questions. That will give you an idea of whether you feel that this is somebody you like the sound of or just from the advice that they're giving, you feel, yes, this is somebody who makes you feel comfortable, but at the same time makes you feel confident that they know what they're talking about. I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend contacting them by email, requesting the opportunity to have a phone call. And if that person really is interested, they will make that phone call and spend time talking to you. They'll probably be very happy to do a consultation with you, even if it's just for 10 minutes. Also, don't forget to make sure that it is a free consultation. And I'm sure, in my experience, law firms who are really respectable, highly rated, that is something that they would be willing to do in order to get good clients. They understand the importance of good reputation, good communication, and so on. 
There are too many attorneys on the island not to take your time, do your due diligence to get the best. Make sure that they are aware of your needs and you need to know what they can offer you. Whether you're buying, whether you're selling, is it land, is it property, is it commercial land, is it a house, is it a villa, is it an apartment? There are so many options and of course your attorney needs to be very clear. So for me, I was buying a house in Barbados. Therefore, I needed to have somebody who was specialising in real estate. I also needed to make sure that they understood my situation. So I was selling a house in England to buy a house in Barbados. So they needed to be aware of that fact. They needed to understand, did I have a mortgage on the house back in England or not? They needed to know, was I a cash buyer or did I need to get a mortgage? These are all the questions that you would be having with your attorney. It's also really, really important to check their credentials. Obviously, attorneys, lawyers, solicitors, they all have qualifications. So it is important to make sure that your attorney is highly qualified. It's also important to make sure that they are licensed as well. And all these things you can check online. An attorney who is licensed will have a good standing with the local bar association. Remember, international real estate can be very complicated. Therefore, you need people who have the expertise, they have the knowledge, and often as well, what I think is important is that they have a good team as well. Now, I have heard of people who've actually interviewed their lawyers. I didn't have to in my situation because my recommendation came from my sister and they've used them for a good few years. So I was really lucky in that respect. They did do their checks, but I would, I would, as I said, ring up, email, get that opportunity to have a conversation with them, explain that you're looking at three or four, two or three attorneys with a view to choosing the best one for you. It's really, really important to choose somebody who you feel that you are going to be comfortable with because you need to be able to ask questions. There's no point having an attorney as good as they are if you don't actually feel comfortable talking to them and don't feel that you can ask the questions that you want to ask. Obviously, they need to be ethical, they need to be reliable, they need, they need to have excellent communication skills, they need to be patient, they need to be open, they need to be transparent, and they need to be able to understand how you are feeling and the stress or strain or the concerns or the anxiety that you might be experiencing. So you need somebody who can relate to that, who understands and knows how best to deal with the situation. You need to know that your concerns will be alleviated for me, deadlines was such an important factor in this whole process. And again, you will find that in any transaction, particularly of this importance, buying or selling, there will be deadlines. So you need to make sure that you're, you have an attorney who is aware of that. And that's why I talked about having an attorney who has a team that can support them because the paperwork cannot always be and will not always be carried out by that one person so you need to understand that but it has to be somebody who's efficient and who can get the job done so ask them generally how long does it take for them on average to complete sales you know what has been their experiences what has been the challenges that they have faced what would they say are the typical issues that vendors or, or buyers or sellers are faced with. These are the kinds of questions that you need to ask them. I would also talk about their workload because if it's a small law firm or small a company, can they actually complete your transaction within a short time? So if your criteria is to complete within three, four months, then you need to make sure it's somebody who has this expertise and to me quite potentially the team to be able to ensure that happens check what happens if they are ill do they have a backup team these are all important questions to ask do they have a vacation marked out at that time i've heard that before where the attorney has gone on holiday for a week and 
you are in the middle of a crucial transaction and they've gone on holiday. These are the things you need to ask because if you truly want your sale to be completed quickly, then you need to be able to ensure that you've got a team that are able to do that. If they are able to do that, that's fine. You might not need to complete within three, four months. You might be happy to complete in eight, nine months, 10, a year even. That might well suit your finances. So you have to make that decision. And finally, it's important to discuss their fees. And actually, it's quite interesting because from what I've found out, from what I'm hearing, is that generally for real estate issues, there is a standard charge. There is a standard charge. But if you are, as I have suggested, consulting with three or four attorneys, you've been very honest with them from the outset, you're asking them the same questions. And obviously, at the end of that, you're asking them about their fees then you will have information that you will be able to use to compare and make the best decision. So at the end of the day, you should be able to compare the fees, compare if there are any additional or maybe unexpected costs that might occur. Again, these are the questions that you need to ask. If there's any delays, would this incur additional costs so that you are not in a situation where you are blindsided by additional monies and obviously when you are buying or selling you need to be very clear of your money situation as i've said to you before anyway always have contingency fund you definitely need to have a contingency fund because you just do not know what might happen some may charge a flat fee some may charge an hourly fee so it really really is important to be clear on the costs and tell them to make sure that you know about those hidden charges and make sure you read the small print. If you do all these things, you are much more likely to have a smoother journey, a smoother process in your buying or selling or buying and selling process. Well, good news. We finally did it. Yay! It's a very, it's a very good game. Yes! Celebrations are here. I have a home. <laughs> Finally. 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 Yeah. The key to the palace. <laughs>